and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Invention. All right, if you may remember, we played this deck about a week ago or so, and um, there was a uh, my computer accidentally, I don't know, accidentally, but it, it just uh, it crashed during the video, and so I was 4-0 with the deck playing through a league, and then it crashed, so we, we got the loss because, you know, we timed out. And so then I had to restart the YouTube recording, and we only got one game um, on the recording, and it wasn't a very good game. It was like it was just a, a game where we didn't really cast things, and so it was a pretty bad video. And so, you know, one of course I apologize for that, but two, um, you know, I know y'all wanted to see this again, especially y'all watching over on YouTube, then uh, wanted to actually see the deck in action. So that's what we're gonna have for today. Um, so yeah, let's let's bring it back. So we have. Uh, a very like our deck's not perfect here. It has it has some weaknesses. Um, it it is a very high curve, as you can see. Most everything costing four or more, and it doesn't have great removal. Like we don't have really good sweepers or anything like that. So like those are like the downsides. But we have a really really powerful deck. Uh, besides that, you know, if we can stay alive and get to the top end, you know, fires of invention obviously is our key card here um where we can play two spells a turn and you know it doesn't matter what the the uh card is as long as it has cmc less than or equal to your lands um less than or equal to you can just cast it so we can cast two five drops with for five mana we can play two six drops two seven drops whenever we have seven mana and so on and so our deck uh has a really good late game and everything as long as we can can get there you know drawn from dreams is just awesome with fires of invention i'm going this way instead of fey of wishes um and uh cavalier of thorns you know we don't really have to worry about the triple green if we have the five mana with the fires we can just play it we get an extra land out i want cavalier to be able to ramp us to agent of treachery right away but then cavalier also of course fills the graveyard and that's a, a big part of the deck is we have the two Tamios that can bring back cards from our graveyard. We have the Plain White Celebration, which brings stuff back from our graveyard, so we can keep on having more uh, gasoline to throw onto the fire. I guess that's a phrase, I suppose. Um, but yeah, like that's like this Plain White Celebration is really kind of like our main win con of uh, gaining gaining lots of life, so we can stay alive. This is our main way to stay alive against aggro. Just you know, play celebrations, gain life. Um, Tamio returns celebration back to our hand. Celebration returns Tamio back to our hand. They they form a really nice um, duo there, where we can just keep kind of keep on casting celebrations and stuff like that. And in the meantime, uh, we can also do some proliferating on on the Tamio or these other planeswalkers as well. And of course, Agent of Treachery is just pretty busted as a card. Um, and then the the other card that that I really liked whenever we played last time that I was really impressed with was Skargan Hellkite. You know, we basically always give this thing a counter, um, but then you don't have to use your mana, of course, with Fires of Invention. So you, we have, like, a, all of our mana that we don't have to use, so we can just be activating Hellkite. Um, that's kind of like our, our slower sweeper kind of thing to keep the, help keep the battlefield clear with Hellkite. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's our deck. I'm taking out the third Narset for an Oko because, you know, we're going to struggle a little bit against aggro, but Oko is very good against aggro. You know, making food tokens... Uh, where we can use our mana on food tokens also. Um, you know, big creatures, we can turn them into 3-3s three at least so they don't kill us as fast. Um, and, of course, creatures being 3-3 three, three elks are good for Chandra. Um, so that's that's always good there. Um, you know, Chandra can sweep them up. And then I only played three Grazer last time, but Grazer was awesome. So, like, because we need Grazer and Grow Spiral to help us get to the four lands right away. Um, and of course we do care about lands being in play. That's why we want to play Grazer, not like Paradise Druid, because we care about, you know, physical lands in play with Fires of Invention. All right, so we're going to actually play the, we're going to play the deck in ranked this time. We didn't play it in ranked last time. We just played a, a league with it to try it out to see if it, if it worked, but it did work pretty well. So we're going to play it over in ranked, see how we do. Um, and yeah, yeah, we can definitely turn the Grazer into a three-three also with Oko, which can which can play some good defense. Uh, Grazer and Oko work really well together like that because, um, you know, Grazer ramps you right away, but then it's just that O three that body doesn't really do anything. Well, Oko can turn that body into something that actually does stuff. 
And we just have the one Oko. We're not like really focused on trying to make Oko really good. It's just a we have like one Oko as a defensive card in here. So we don't need Gilded Goose because Gilded Goose wouldn't um, necessarily help all the time. I think we have to mulligan. All right, this looks better. Correct. Control. It's the same the same deck we played. The Golgari Troll, same one when it, we played whenever the set came out. I, I did update it today. Um, but it's the same same deck. You know, I, I changed a few cards, uh, but not not too many. But yep, that's the deck that we're gonna be playing up next. So I could have shocked again to play Grazer. Ugh, should have shocked. All right, well that's a lot of lands in play. I should play the Ugin here first and tick up and then scry, but I, I don't really mind that we got rid of a forest there. That's a good card. So it still worked out. I would have scryed the fires to the top probably. That was just a waste. All right, come on, good spell. Good spell. Not a good spell. Come on, shock, shock this during combat. Let me go to second main and play this Cavalier. Shock it during combat. They definitely have a shock in hand. Nah, they wait till end step. Hey, fun. Uh, question is, how come Ugin looks like Nicol Bolas? Somebody in chat probably knows. I th I think they may be related. Like, Elder... Like, I think they're, like, Elder Dragons or something. I should probably know that better than I do. They are twins? They're brothers? Okay. So yeah, that's that's a good reason. I'll take that one. No, oh, I guess I'm it's making it a two-two though. Secrets manifest before you. Splat.
So yeah, I think I think all the OG Elder Dragons are related, I think. All right, Ugin down. Oko's pretty good. I am Tamio. I am it is Tamio. An honor to meet you. Nice to meet I you too. The tracks of the wise. Do not defy the Ugin. of an elder dragon. Yeah, we, we bring an Ugin back. This is 2019. We bring an Ugin back. That's what we doing. Alright, so they gruel. So we probably want these extra coils. Yeah, Tam Tamio is so good with Fires of Invention. So good. So we play extra coils. I don't know about flame sweep. I could I could definitely beast. Like we could go beast mode because the beast can block very well, especially other beasts. So I could definitely see going beast mode. Now, what does that mean that we're doing? We're probably getting rid of the narsets, a drawn and a chandra. All right, like it. Here we go. <laughs> beast mode equals best mode. <clears throat> yeah, we also brought Ugin back, yeah, in, in 2016 with Fate Reforged. 2015. 2015. So, yeah, we, we already did bring Ugin back then, but 2019 we're bringing Ugin back again. Thanks, Harris. What? That thing big. We need a Fires of Invention. <laughs> took Lil with this deck, so you, you took Liliana with Agent of Treachery and then played Wine Celebration, just proliferate a bunch. Ultimate Liliana. That is some good magic right there. And Tamiel's pretty awesome, but I think I want this Cavalier to block. I wish I had another land. If I had if I had another land in hand, I could have, you know, grow spiral first and then drawn from dreams. But I didn't necessarily have a guaranteed land there. And boom goes the opponent. Team or invention. We had, we definitely had good hands both of those times. Like we had very good hands. Um, you know, we had Grazer and Grow Spirals early, and so we got to play very fast there because that was that was turn three drawn from dreams, turn four, you know, fires plus Cavalier Thorns there. So that was pretty fast and that's why we're playing grazer and grow spiral just want to get extra lands into play our, our deck's definitely better when we draw those two cards 
Um, yeah, this deck could be pretty decent in best of one. I think I think the problem, though, with playing this deck in best of one is, like, you know, for the event, I think there's going to be a lot of aggro there, and I think that that's where this deck's going to struggle with. Um, and, I, and especially, like, game one, I don't think this deck's probably very good against Simic Flash game one without having Vela Summers also. Um, so I, I probably would not really recommend it for that. But, yeah, I think, like, Model Red and Simic Flash are both going to be pretty popular decks, and this deck will struggle against those. Uh, yeah, I need land. We need a fifth land. I don't, I don't want to risk not having a land. I guess we need a, a red land, but Cavalier should be able to grab a red land. So, I mean, we could draw... We did not. I was going to say, we could just draw um, the O3, a Boreal Grazer, and, you know, be able to shock in and play a Boreal Grazer. That could have happened. Next card was a Boreal Grazer. Well, that means we don't need to shock in for Cavalier Thorns. Harand, that's all your fault. Say hi to my fiery friend. Real Harand said, turn four Torbrand, GG. And of course, then they had turn four Torbrand. Why do you, why do you gotta do that to me? All right, so obviously this is the matchup we don't really want to see too much. We're gonna take the Narsets out, take out two drawn from dreams, maybe three. Thing is, like, Agent of Treachery gets rid of Chandra, like, three mana Chandra. I don't have, like, a lot of great ways to get rid of three mana Chandra. I mean, but I guess this one does too. Need more Oko. Yeah, making food tokens just a crack. When you have fires out, it's pretty nice. All right, well, we have our most important card. And we got a scry land. You know, the castle is pretty important here as well. Yeah, I could definitely see playing more Okos in the deck for sure. Flame sweep. No, say hi 
to my fiery friends. Guys are great. Rude. Ah, another turn four kill. That was rude. I need a rude emote. All right, so sometimes we die on turn four, or all the time, die on turn four. <laughs> they laughed at me when I said gingerbread was pushed. He's laughing now. They even pushed, like, pushed off the kitchen table. I don't see too much Temple of Triumphs running around these days. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to, to, to prove that my deck dies aggro, yep. Hey, hey Yoshi, Kiki, GG's. GG's there. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, Narset doesn't actually help us hit land drops. We're playing 26 in the deck, though. The focus and I want to see a bunch of spells here. So, like, that's good action. to see a bunch of spells. So that hopefully we get a land now after this. <laughs> wow, y'all are y'all are just trying to... To... Make this go really bad for me. It's like four lands on top. The Narset. That's me right now. Urgh. Urgh. Four lands on top. Come on. Ugh. Okay. So we got to have a land here eventually, right? There's 22 more lands. They're playing fires, but I'm playing fires. Yay, land. All right, so Cavalier and land. Agent of Treachery is really nice. But I think I take the Cavalier land. Yeah, I was definitely going to take the castle. Oh, yeah, discard stuff. <laughs> Narset. Narset. I guess they maybe just wanted to discard all the stuff, though. I don't know. Maybe they just want to discard those cards. Good job, Narset. Um, sure, I'll block. All right, so I need one more land for celebration. Uh, 
What do we got over here? Chandra? Chandra, cool. Alright, so we're going to grab... We can only grab permanents. So we'll grab Cavalier, Chandra, and then Proliferate twice. So we'll go Proliferate, Proliferate, Return, Return, Chandra, and Cavalier. Yep, proliferate those two and those two. All right, what else we got? Meditate and Gross spiral. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. Boom! Exploded. All right. Got that one. Dun, dun, dun. Um, anything to change? Question mark. I mean, Beast can. I guess maybe Beast is better than Coil. Because Beast can kill the the big Cavalier. Where Coil can only kill the 4-3. But this Beast also kills the 4-3. I don't know if, like, I don't know if they're going to have, like, anything that I need to be Vela Summering. Like, that's what I was trying to think. Like, I, I can't really think of stuff that, that they're going to have that I need to, like, have Vela Summer for. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing the event tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll go beast mode, take out the coils. Try that. <laughs> yeah, Chandra has my favorite voice lines also. Marfa deck should have 27 lands instead of 26. Dang. This hand is so good. I don't want to I don't want to put anything back. I mean, I guess we have to put the beast back. But the beast is like kind of perfect to go with fires. Hopefully we find something else. All right, Tamio. That works. I don't know if they're playing counter magic. Uh, maybe they are playing counter magic. Maybe not. Hmm. I think I play it because they have to counter it. But then they, ha they have to, like, counter Tamio next turn also, because I can Tamio get it back. So... You know, one, you know, like we're testing, do they have a counter spell? And two, do they have a, a second counter spell also? I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. No tales should be discarded.
So we're going to play Fires, then Cavalier Thorns. And then... Uh, I'll kind of see what, you know, what we got going on here before I tick up Tamiyo. Ah, there was an Agent of Treachery gone. That was kind of, that was basically what I wanted to name was Agent of Treachery. Hmm. So there's only one other Agent of Treachery. There's one Plain White Celebration. Those are kind of my two best cards. And they're both one ofs. I could say Drawn from Dreams, which is a four of. Hmm. I think those are like the realistic things. Try to try to snag an agent or a, a celebration, or just say dreams. Um. All right, we'll go draw from dreams. Well, it turned out it was land, 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 land. Responsibility. Trust me, I have a plan. Darn. More data will we didn't get to minus Tamio. way to destroy things. <laughs> That's all, all good, Matthew. Yeah, I, uh, did not have they had a lot of turnovers they they could drive the ball but then whenever for some reason like they got to like whenever they would get to like the 35 they just couldn't push the ball past that and so they just couldn't couldn't put up points they were just like every drive would like go down to the 35 of michigan side and then just, and then they would just like you know a couple incomplete passes runs of good stuff they would get sacked and then they would just have to punt and that's how like every single drive went Scry. Scry those to the bottom. I kind of want to play Narset Cavalier. Prowess is unmatched by my peers. Yeah, I was born in Iowa. I had I didn't live too much of my life in Iowa, but I lived until I was like twelve or so. There, but yeah, that's where I was born. Ooh, I thought I actually thought Auburn was gonna win that. Keep an open mind. 
So I was like, Hellkite is like the only good card there. I don't think I've seen Plain White Celebration yet. Um, Simic Flash is my recommendation for the event tomorrow. If I had to say one recommendation. Both Tamios in here, though. Yeah. So I could could have definitely attacked with the Cavalier. It's it's kind of rough though. Like their deck can have you know with the red Cavalier and everything, they can have a lot of damage coming in, haste damage coming in. Needs a rest. <laughs> Didn't kill a creature. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Could have just taken the fires of invention and then re and then played something else. Maybe I should have just done that. I don't know. Taking a five five is pretty nice. They could have another Teferi bounce the Cavalier back. But of course, they can only play, like, if they do that, like, they can only play two cards a turn. So if they do that, then they can only play one other thing. So, like, if their plan is, if their plan is to play the, the Cavalier again, then they're, they're just dead, because, you know, they know about the Ugin that can kill the Cavalier. They have to play some kind of removal spell here. Let's slow this down. So that'll keep him alive. I've got it. Down to two. You know, I have I have two haste damage here with the Hellkite of just playing Hellkite, giving it the counter, and then activating. Yeah, it's I guess it, it could be possible probably to do to play my deck with Field of the Dead. That's likely possible. So they they are dead. I wasn't actually going to even take those. I just wanted to like show my opponent, look at these cool cards I can take, and then I was going to decline and say no, because they can't play anything else. Yeah, Mystical Dispute, that's a that's another good one besides Veil for against Simic Flash. Yeah, I really like Veil, but yeah, Mystical Dispute, that's another good card there for that matchup. 
There you go, Zed. You got a flawless record with Gruel this afternoon in best of one. Awesome. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, that is true that Field does make the aggro matchup a lot worse with having the inconsistent mana base, so it's probably not worth it because we already have such a good late game anyway. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds good, Adriel. Thank you. All right, so... Um, yeah, we'll do... All right, so for one booster pack in Arena, Adriel has a code. Um, so if you'd like to win it, all you have to do is type the word. We'll do a quick giveaway here. Type the word celebration for, you know, celebrating Adriel having that code. One. Celebrating a thousand people in here, too. And celebrating plain white celebration. This card's awesome, so celebration. No, I don't think cavalcade is, is too good, honestly. You do not need to do an exclamation point. Just type the word celebration like everybody else is doing. I was hoping our Skyland was going to find a Grazer or... Um, or grow spiral. <laughs> if I don't win, it's rigged. So this is for for one pack for one um, pack on arena. I'm known for my excellent timing. All right, looks like everybody's in there. This might be a bad idea. Need to be present to win, of course. Let's try this. Okay, let's see. Gaming Andy. All right, Gaming Andy, are you here? And then a Duriel. Yay! There's Gaming Andy. And then, yeah, so Daryl, you know how to send Gaming Andy the message, hopefully. TTT. -t -t. T, T Tiger. Or T Gray. TT T Gray. Let's go with that. Bring in the hype boats. Thanks so much for the sub there. TT T Gray. All right, we'll go. Fires Dreams. Let's grab. Cards are all kind of not so good. We'll grab Spiral Spiral. Spiral Temple. Spiral Temple. Seven subs on the day. That's more like it. Perfect. All right, what do we got going on over here? Golos. Golos. So I can pay two life to scry two first. think I need to pay two life to scry. <laughs> well, that hurts. Well, that hurts. Awesome. There you go, Andy. Good job. 
Awesome. Don't worry, I got this. Right on schedule. Here we go. So I guess this next turn I'm gonna go Agent of Treachery, Steel, Field of the Dead. You know, play Fires, Agent, Steel Field. Got I don't really have a sweeper. I want to grab the two agents. And we'll just gain eight life. I hope this hits a bunch of crisis. Crisis. All right, we got one crisis. Unfortunately, it's a fairy. <laughs> yeah, plain wide Tamiya synergy. I've got it. <laughs> yeah, who's field of the dead now? I'm just gonna take the land. Um All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot of good permanence in my graveyard.
The storied past holds our future. Don't even need fires anymore. We got so much mana. So now Celebration can give me back Agent, Chandra, Cavalier, and Ugin. All right, another Krasis gone. So that's the third Krasis. All right, good. So they're out of... There's going to be wrathing here, I assume. Yeah, so, yeah, I I chumped agent instead of having the agent just block a zombie, I chumped it with the gola so I could buy it back one and then two. It's also good for agent not to be on the battlefield. Because, you know, once we start stealing more things, then the agent will make us draw lots of lots of cards. So it's actually good for agent to not be on the battlefield. Also. Okay, let's get these Ashiox in here. And we'll get some flame sweeps. We'll take out the coils. And do I need all these flame sweeps? Maybe I don't need all of them. I play like three flame sweep. We'll get rid of Oko. As Oko turning Golos into just a 3 3 is really nice. I have all the Chandras that are like sweepers also. Maybe I don't need all the flame sweeps. Hmm. Yeah, we don't we don't really need the swinging pass zombie stuff. I have like basically I want to play all of these cards, but we have to take out four cards, and that's always difficult taking out cards. I guess I'm taking out Narset, even though Narset can stop Krasis. So Narset's good, but I have to take something out. Um, Ugin can go, I guess. I'm going to trim one Cavalier of Thorns. I don't know. Cavalier of Thorns is pretty awesome. Get rid of the Yoko. Okay. Yeah, they're all good cards. Yeah, outbigging field is quite a feat. I know, right? Yeah, it's not that's not easy going bigger than Field of the Dead. That's not easy. But we did that game. All right, keeping this because we got growth spiral. Oh, there's that gnat. I should have warned y'all about for sorry. I did not warn y'all. If you, especially if you're a headphone user, I'm so I'm so sorry. There's just this one gnat that's just that I just see like once or twice a stream throughout the last week. <laughs> Sorry, I should have said something. I don't even think I got it though. I don't I don't see it anywhere. Hopefully I got it. I'm not unclear if I got it or not. Um the thing is, I'm not sure if I'm going to have actual extra lands to put into play with this. If we keep it. I'll just keep it. I don't, I don't even know if it's a net. It's like it's just a really small little... It's like not a fly. I don't know. Oh, no, it's right here. It's still alive. There we go. We got him. Little tiny, tiny little bug. See, just a little bug. I don't know if you can tell. Whatever a bug of that size is. He's been around a, a whole bunch. There you go. He's in the trash now.
fruit fly? That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, it could be a fruit fly. Hey, Enigma, it's going good. Yeah, we're having a, a good, successful day today. We're going to... Hopefully... Atriant! There we go. I was going to say, hopefully, find more mana. So this is... Um... Thank you so much there, Atriant. So this is kind of weird because like this is a seventh land and it lets me play chandra or agent of treachery but not this next turn so i'm going to still do nothing this next turn but it's probably worth keeping Because, yeah, we need another red anyway for Chandra. But I, I basically just, like, you know, kind of time-walked myself. I was kind of, like, just admitting I wasn't going to do anything that next turn. Mm. If I would have put it on the bottom of the steam vents, I would have been able to take this Field of the Dead earlier. Could have taken that before they got those zombies. Give me these. What are you doing with these Field of the Deads over here? Field of the Dead now. We're Field of the Living. All right, Teamer Invention three and one. <laughs> so, what are you playing? I don't know. What are you playing? <laughs> oh, you're playing Field of the Dead? I'm playing Field of the Dead. All right, we need lands on top. We got a lot of lands in the deck. There's 26 in here. We got the temple to scry. You're not a land. Get out of here. We need land. What's your win condition? Uh, well, you should know my win condition better than I do. I'm not sure. What do you? What's your win condition? That was a great card. Land. Love it. I just need one more. Start playing this creature that's quite the thorn in my opponent's attacking plans. Hey, Eddie. Poor Liliana. Rotting Regisaur. Hmm. 
Well, that's difficult. Um, I'm gonna take this other red source. Just realized I didn't get Grixis mid range up earlier. Start doing that right now. That's lethal. Riding Registor hits very, very hard, unfortunately. All right, so Chandra is a little slow here. I guess Chandra can exile and everything too, though. I think I may just keep it like this. Um, I think Narset and Agent of Treachery yeah, like those are the cards that I want the least. And so instead of those, I'm going to play two beast, two uh, veil. Yeah, yeah, mono red aggro is, is definitely inconsistent. Um, we played a gruel henge deck yesterday that was pretty awesome. You can check out on, on the YouTube channel there. Um, and then check that one out. Check out... Um, a Yara's Citadel from Mono Black deck from a couple of days ago. Hmm. This may not work well, but five cards is kind of tough too. Come on, 26 land deck, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. To pretend. No, no dino. Bad dino. I know, that dino is so scary. If they have more removal, obviously I'm I'm dead. Please no more removal. Alright, whatever. Alright, so we went three two. We lost to <clears throat> we lost to two aggro decks that had really good hands both games. You know, like we lost to Cavalcade on turn four both games against Cavalcade, and then we lost to Mono Black on turn four, turn five, the two games they had there. So we don't really stop the aggro decks from having, um, like when, when the aggro decks have a really good hand, we don't really stop them too much. And so if they have, you know, like a turn four kill, um, you know, we're not really doing too much to stop them. One thing that maybe to change for the future is may maybe playing more Okos in this deck. Like, maybe Narset isn't worth it. Maybe maybe just playing Okos in that slot, honestly, um, instead of Narsets. Because 
we're gonna have it's not like we really need the card draw with narset because we're gonna have good cards like all of our you know like it's basically everything in our deck or like you know besides the lands like if we're just drawing any spells you know we don't really need the narsets too much but okos can r really help out against aggro um so probably just want to play okos here instead of narsets because you know this can turn registers into three threes again you know like that makes that a lot less um a lot a lot less scary and then also just making food tokens whenever you have fires of invention in play you know oko has so much loyalty that if you if you play oko like on three you know on two of you you got grazer but if you play oko tick up go to six next you know like they're probably not going to kill it next turn you just tick up go to eight you know you just plus two you can just plus two continually also and then you you play fires and play something else and then then the following turn after you untap from fires you're still plus twoing this just all of your lands you just pay two gain three life pay two gain three life and that can that can definitely help keep you alive and then if they play something like a regisaur that you really need to plus one you can do that also so it's, it's probably just just good to play okos because as we saw like our late game is just incredible you know like we were out grinding field of the dead uh game one you know like plain white celebration is just pretty insane and so I like playing the Okos as, as a main deck um, anti-aggro card instead of Narsets, I think. Here. Um, so there we go. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, the deck played really well. Besides, you know, just like running it, you know, it's not, our deck's not perfect. We're going to lose to the really fast aggro. That's going to happen. But there's not a whole lot of really fast aggro running around as you can see and so if you want to play something different you want to play something really powerful um you know just understand there is there's definitely some variance here <laughs> um for sure with those uh against those aggro decks um but uh yeah so that's that's teamer invention so uh played pretty well and, and thankfully this recording actually worked and everything and as i'm saying this hopefully the computer doesn't crash and so those of y'all on YouTube get, got to see the entire uh, video and got to see the deck and everything. Uh, but for those of you over there on YouTube, definitely uh, hit the like, subscribe buttons over there. And of course, leave comments. Let me know what you think about the deck. Let me know what you, how you think the deck could deal with the aggro decks. Um, without, you know, I don't want to sacrifice too much of to the top end, you know, because I want, uh, like, that's how the deck wins is having a really good top end. I don't want to, like, just take out a bunch of the top end but maybe sideboard like is there better things we could be doing besides lava coil and flame sweep and questing beast you know like are, are there better things than that uh for the sideboard let me know in the comments and all that kind of stuff and if you're playing the deck of course as well let me know how it's going for you okay um no grazer spiral is so much faster than elemental package yeah that, that's elemental package is super slow I mean, Grazer, Grazer Spiral lets you play, like, Fires. Like, you know, we would get to go, like, Fires plus Drawn from Dreams or something like that on turn three. And then, you know, turn four, go, like, with these other things and, and so on. All right, anyway, there we go. That's Teamer Invention. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.